If I was to describe Willamaloo to someone that's not from there, I would say that Willamaloo is like a small country town in a big city. It's a community that's very tight. You know, if anything happens, we pull together. It's a diverse community, close to the harbour. There's plenty of sights to see there, um, lovely people. The good, the bad and the ugly, of course, like all places. We are on the map as being a wee bit rough, <laughs> but we're not. The exhibition came about through a process where we did like a, a bunch of meetings with the gallery and the co-curators had been chosen from the community. And this involved workshops and looking through the archives. Uh, some of these pieces that are on display have not been displayed before actually, and some have been in storage for quite some time. So we went through their collection and slowly narrowed it down to the different uh, tastes and attitudes of the, the participants. Being one of the co-curators of this project, um, it, it's been amazing really just to harness, you know, a group of people together, learning about um, all the different experiences of people that are basically neighbours and live together. We all know each other from around the area, uh, I guess we're mums, but this program has really made us more shoulder to shoulder, more like sisters, and just kind of walking alongside each other, looking looking uh, through each other's eyes and hearing um, yarning and conversations around the artworks, uh, particularly intergenerationally too, has been really, really cool. The Seven Sisters story, the songline story, it really touches me, my soul. I see the women in my life almost as though we are those cosmic sisters and we travel together and we look after one another we protect and defend one another you know and that's what the story is about but i love how it's become a song line that uh, has spread across the world and this is a song line that we here in this country with our first nations people here share with other first nations people around the world Sport is big down in, in, in the low, as I call it, Woolloomooloo. Big names have come out of Woolloomooloo that play first grade. Uh, not only football, tennis and basketball. You could see what these poor guys, you know, just gone through or their blood, their sweat, their tears, you know, their defeat or their happiness. I particularly resonated with uh, the Sean Gladwell piece. Being from a dance background, I'm interested in black dance styles, so Afro-Caribbean um, and dance hall. A lot of the Jamaican choreographers have been recently doing um, their videos in petrol stations because of the light and because it's urban. It actually looks like a stage. So looking at that and thinking about my time living in Mullamaloo for the last 14 years, I feel personally as an artist everything sort of intersected and came together over that piece. The whole area has an arts background. Buildings in the area have included places where the Sydney Dance Company started. Uh, the gunnery, which is now art space, was uh, you know for so long an, an artist squat. Woolloomooloo has an incredible history of graffiti art, uh, with many of the older sort of artists around acknowledging that it started here. The Rico Rennie piece uh, is one that jumps straight out at me because it's. Um, it reminds me of the housing uh, units that were built through the 80s in terms of its structural shapes and stuff. It's, it's really reminiscent of that. As well as that, just the sort of the nod to, you know, Jean-Marc Basquiat with his crown tag and the dripping lines and the multicolours. It's, it's kind of reflective of how multicultural we are in the community, but also the fact that we have so many murals around Woolloomooloo and they're very reflective, I guess, of the history of the social struggles that have happened in the community. Loved uh, Yuka by Miwa Yanagi. It, it really uh, just encapsulated the joy between the group, um, the jokes, there were constant jokes. When we get together, we, we celebrate like that. So it was fantastic. It's fantastic just to see the joy. One of the artworks that I loved, it was the shower curtain with um, the opera house on it. 
The colours, absolutely amazing. The work, the intricate work put into it. I'd be very happy to have that hanging on my wall in my unit. I think one for me that really stood out, there was baseball bats with Māori art on it. You're using something to represent another thing without saying it straight out. There's a Peter Upwood painting in the show. I love that painting because it used to hang, it used to be on, on display here. Peter used to live in Woolloomooloo and he was my tutor at the National Art School. He's more relevant now to me than, he, than then. I think I was too young to actually appreciate what he was teaching. Until this all started, I'd never been to the art gallery in my life. I was a bit iffy as to whether I'd like it, but I loved it. There's an interaction between the works which is um, a little bit metaphysical, a little bit spiritual. It's a different way of looking at art, but it's also a different way of uh, exploring our own feelings about where we live and our community and what we mean to each other. It's also been really interesting just hearing um, everyone's responses, everyone's got a different response or something that you haven't thought about. So there was times when we would have big laughs and then there's times when we would clash and we wouldn't agree and then we would have to work together and work through that. It was actually a way of um, understanding the differences a little better as well. I hope people get a really positive experience from this exhibition. Just the fact that it's, it's been put together by so many different people. Usually you walk into an exhibition and it'll all be by one artist or one specific theme. There's no really prevailing theme here, apart from community members and how they view the community.